Okay, so today we are trying to recover some gold. Uh, we are doing this with citric acid, a prepared solution. It's 300 milliliters of water. Uh, it's 200 milliliters, no, otherwise. No, yeah, 200 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide, 30 grams of citric acid and 20 grams of salt. Brought some material. I found this process on the eScrap channel. I put a link in the uh, in the description and he uses citric acid so which is nice to have because I do this with vinegar acid and that's hard to come by so uh, he uses different material but um, yeah we'll try if this works or not and I'm at the friend's place so I'm yeah oh, I have I forgot my my tripod so this is not nice to look at but it's more or less just a video reply to the other channel. Um, okay, uh, we'll get back to you uh, when the reaction starts. So actually I will just let the, the camera run and we do other stuff so you can watch it. And if something interesting comes up, I will comment on it. Just give it one more steer. And then the reaction should start in about 10 minutes time, something there. It should be finished in about 2 to 3 hours. And it's already starting, you can see the... Just a second. You can see hope, you can see the bubbles on the material, so that's how your reaction looks. And it should start recover, uh, change the color very quickly. Um, again, just leave it here and make a time lapse video so you can watch this. Uh, I wish I had brought my tripod. Okay. Alright, so well, we'll get back to you. See you later. So it's about 10 minutes later and you can see the reaction has really started off. Uh, it's starting to slightly discolorate but I can't tell exactly because there's lots of green stuff around us. So that, uh, what we do now is I forgot to measure the, P, the pH value so we will do that now. It's the, the friend I'm with will do that for me. So that we get a basic idea. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. still a bit warm here. Yeah. All right. Perfect. One second. This is our test solution. And now I can see it's a little bit, uh, a little bit discolorated, but not a lot. Shake it, compare it, and yeah, pretty much what I expected. Uh, it's about, oh, oops, sorry four. about the new camera. Yeah, four, it's about four. So that's yeah, pretty good actually, isn't it? <laughs> All right, uh, I will give it another stare and then let it settle. Oh yeah, now it's, it's working, look. It's, now it's starting to discolorate. Okay, so it's back to the time lapse again. Um, I will get back in about, I don't know, an hour, maybe a 
or half an hour, not too sure. So, uh, yeah, half at it. Okay, so after about 20 minutes, I see the very first foils coming off. I tried to pick him up on camera, but it's not visible. And so I would try when a little bit more came off. Uh, also, I would stop the, the time-lapse stuff because I'm running out of memory. Again, new camera. Uh, you might notice I'm nervous. Uh, that's due to the new camera. Okay, I'll get back to you when something happens. It's a little bit more foils after t uh, 30 minutes. Not sure, probably you can make it out on camera. Uh, again, if somebody, something comes up, I uh, will come back to you. So every now and then the foils will just come up. Uh, you give it a steer and they sink down to the ground. And now you can see the nice discoloration from all the copper that's uh, dissolved. And it's going really nice, I must say. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting back to you. Okay, so after about two hours, uh, the reaction is still strong. And um, yeah, you can see lots of gold foils. Uh, it's discoloring very nicely. And it's still going on, it's still warm also. So still good for another hour, I would say. Not sure. Uh, well, oh yeah, I can steer it. Yeah. Steer it. And then everything, everything sinks down again. And we'll put a bit on. And it's beautiful, really. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see you later. So after two hours, uh, we will change the scenery uh, because we have to leave. And the reaction is slowing down increasingly now. Uh, it's very little bubble bubbles now, it's still good, but it's, it's slowing down. And the temperature also is almost gone. So I might top it off with um, hydrogen peroxide when I'm back home. Uh, okay, yeah, see you then. Okay, so um, it's the next day. Um, I don't have any uh, footage of what happened after we saw it on last um, because I was following my friend in his car and uh, I did finish the process yesterday on the go. <laughs> I mean, how awesome is that? You can actually recover gold on the go. Okay, no protective gear, no breathing mask, no nothing. I use gloves in the in the car though, and uh, yeah, it's amazing. Uh, after about three hours or so, the um, reaction wore down more or less completely, but that's partially also because um, almost all of the material came off. I'm, I'm really impressed by how well it worked. Uh, there are a few stubborn particles left on some of the material, but that's normal, we always have that. And there was one green motherboard, uh, it was a keyboard of a button phone, and that, it just said no. I'm not, nah, I stay as I am. So I'm assuming uh, it has um, nickel underneath it uh, instead of copper, but I put it back into solution and we'll see if something comes up.
So I ended up with uh, about a fifth of a gram of gold, uh, not refined. So, and obviously it's not enough to refine, uh, which is the big question, can I use this method to refine? So I will see to recover some more gold in the next days as I get around to it until I have enough to refine it and then I, I try the, uh, the refining step. But so far I'm really impressed. Uh, it worked super fast, it's cheap, it's, uh, it doesn't smell, it's, it's harmless-ish, uh, especially for the stuff that we use otherwise. But um, yeah, uh, again, I'm really, really, really impressed. Uh, so the follow-up video to this will be hopefully in a couple of days, um, trying to refine with uh, citric acid, and then we will replace the um, the hydrogen peroxide with uh, chlorine, and I will try to drop it with vitamin vitamin C. But we will see if that works out. Okay, so yeah, there you have it. Enjoy your day.